First, we've got breaking news out of West Hartford where an elderly woman has been attacked. Well, you say the, hus the woman's husband was outside cutting the lawn when somebody broke into their home attacking his wife. That woman is now speaking out exclusively to News 8. Bob Wilson joins us live from West Hartford with tonight's top story. Bob. Yeah, you know what? It happened right in this quiet neighborhood, and there have been a rash of burglaries over the last week, six of them. And the reason these burglaries are kind of scaring people is because they were done while people were at home. Now, take a look at this video here. The police were just coming out of the house, talking to the woman. She says she was home, she came out of the bathroom, and she looked over and saw a man rummaging through her husband's dresser bureau. He had pulled out some cash, some jewelry. She said, what the heck are you doing? Actually, she used stronger language than that. And then the guy grabbed her and threw her to the ground. She said, you know, her husband was outside cutting the lawn. She had the water running in the bathroom. He knew they were in the house. She just didn't care. I was you, in the bathroom. Oh, you were in the bathroom. So he, he walked in he, on you. He, uh, he, uh, I, he, the door was closed. He walked right by the bathroom door knowing someone was in there. I had the water running and everything and went into the bedroom. He didn't care at all that you were home. No, he could have cared less. Now, police did make an arrest. What happened was the guy took off running down the street right here, and he had actually a backpack full of clothes, and he was changing his clothes as he was going to try and throw police off for the description. But police brought in canines. They surrounded the area. They called in Newington, and they were able to chase him to a heavily wooded area, and there they did make the arrest. The uh, Stella says she did go in and uh, identify him as the suspect right now. He's at the police department, and they are awaiting charges for him. We'll have that uh, a little bit later on if they become available. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in West Hartford, News 8.